Hey, Bob's PropShop.com fans. I'm Video Bob. And this is a 1974 Dodge Monaco, also known as the Bluesmobile. This is the second one of these that we've uh, offered. Now, the first one had a 440 in it. This one has a 360. It's a new rebuilt engine thing. Runs like a top. Let's take a look at the car. There's a lot of things about the Monaco that, uh, in the movie, like this Rust, for instance. For some reason, all of these Monacos seem to rust in the same spots, just like it did in the movie. So this is a surface rust. It doesn't affect the structure of the car, but it looks cool, and it's part of the authenticity that makes the car look genuine. Matter of fact, we do everything we can to make the car as dirty as possible. I park it under a tree. When it rains, I cover it up. I don't want it to get clean. Let's take a look at some of the props that we've put in the car. You've got uh, Elwood's ID, just in case some squad wants to check them out. Got Murph and the Magic Tones business card, Illinois Department of Corrections. Got a real vintage pack of Chesterfield cigarettes. Those are probably 40, 50 years old. And an old 70s Budweiser pull tab beer can, just like it was on the dash. And uh, whenever you find some straws and some trash and some cigarette butts, find them and throw them up on the dash, and that helps with the uh, decorations. Let's take a look at the interior. It's a nice tan beige khaki color, just like we've seen in the movie. I think it's in pretty good condition considering its age. Nice little radio in there so you can listen to your blues tapes. Let's talk about the speaker that's up on top. Now the speaker is just for looks. You can't drive with the speaker. We normally keep it in the back seat or at the shop. And whenever we're ready to go, the speaker just simply comes off like this. It's not very heavy. And, uh, you just set it out. Take a look at the back. There's a lot of little details, uh, like for instance, the removal of this extra letter here on the on the gas filler. Um, bumper's in good condition. Tires are in great condition. There's a little bit of rusty spots, and little dents and things here and there. It's all part of the charm. I mean, this car is on a mission from God. It's been chased by countless police cars. And it runs great. Let me fire it up. It runs like a top. It's ready to roll and it rides like a Cadillac. You can fire this sucker up and pop lower whacker drive all you want. Matter of fact, let's go for a ride. Hop in. It smells like burning rubber. I don't know if you can see this on the dash here, but Blues legend BB King signed that dash. He thought it was a pretty cool car. Go for a little ride here. <laughs> you gotta drive it like you stole it. Or you gotta drive like the cops are after you. Brakes are great, shocks are great. Grab those glasses, don't let them fly out the window. <laughs> Just like in the movies. Now, we can take it down the highway Ain't nothing on the highway but highway. But I wanted to sh demonstrate to you that the car does run and drive. It's got a badass sound and exhaust system. Power steering is great. Power brakes are great. Drive straight. You know, it's, we're in a residential neighborhood, so it's kind of hard to see what's going on here. But the car drives straight. It's got good tires. It shifts well. Let's see. This is a really fun car. 
And for people that are big fans of the Blues Brothers, you get thumbs up and honks and stuff. We rent this car out to places like uh, the House of Blues, uh, various 80s related places, uh, barbecue joints. Anybody who has an appreciation for Chicago, the Blues Brothers, and old Mopars, this thing is really fun at car shows. It's not supposed to be shiny, it's supposed to be what it is. So it doesn't matter if it's a little beat up. The car runs and drives great. This is a classic Mopar and it's always gonna run great. So if this is something that you're interested in, if you've always wanted your own Blues Mobile from the Blues Brothers, if you wanna know what it's like to drive around and feel like Jake and Elwood getting chased by the cops, this is the car that you want. And uh, these are really extremely rare cars. They're hard to find and you gotta jump on these when you find them. Uh, we specialize in these cars as well as the Back to the Future DeLorean Time Machine, the Ghostbusters Ecto-1, we're working on uh, Knight Rider, A-Team, a lot of other cool projects. So this is my Bluesmobile, I wanted you to check it out. Let's walk, do a quick walk around on the car first. Close-ups. I'll take the camera. Have a look at uh, Got the movie lights in place there. Let's open up the uh, hood and take a look at the engine. There it is. 360. Now this car at one time did have factory AC, so if you wanted to add a compressor to it, put the system back in, you could add on to this and put air conditioning back in the car. Interior looks great. I'm Video Bob, and this is a 1974 Dodge Monaco Bluesmobile. Get it. Go to BobPropShop.com. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter at BobPropShop. And I'm gonna all I'm gonna leave you with here are skid marks. <laughs>